so let's see if this tutorial works. So I got my ornament. It's, I don't know. It doesn't say this size. So what I did was literally place it on my mat. And it looks like it's three by three. And I then went to my screen. I went to this thing, got a circle. Literally, I drew a circle. Ooh, I should have probably drew that circle. Oops, wrong one. Still learning these buttons. Sorry. Golly, these buttons. Anyways, I should have done it over here because I need it to be a 3x3. Three three, so I am going to fit it in a 3x3. Three three. So I did it like that. And then I went back to that grabbed a I guess it's a square slash triangle and I just you know made one just to test um and I literally put it on there I overlapped it a little so that you're able to weld Ta-da! and so then I put it in a corner I used a regular size piece of paper and cut it and then I had inserted it inside the ornament. Well, I rolled up the paper, inserted it inside, and I just kept messing with it until it was, you know, a perfect size. Oh, here's actually the one I did. So here's the paper. Um, I rolled it literally stuck it in there it's so hard to do everything with one hand seriously put it in there anyways um if it didn't fit i went back and i remeasured it you know until it fit well anyways um well this is the one i ended up finding the perfect size for so then what i did was always make extra because if i ever mess up anything i don't feel like redoing the circle so I put the picture, I put it sent to the back, and I tried to fit everything inside of the ornament. So I think that's like a good fit. Maybe a little smaller. Oh wait, I just noticed I need it to be bigger. You want to fill the whole thing up uh let me see somewhere like that and I'm not gonna lie but I stretched them out a little bit because I want to fill the whole entire thing up and right here I mean if there's probably another way to do this but I literally just did it like that so that that top part is covered and it doesn't matter that it's the jeans because I mean, you don't have to do that, but um, you can't really see that part anyways. So then I highlighted both. I went and I put um, that subtract tool, oh, modify. And I put crop and it crops it, see? And you can't really tell that that's their jeans. I mean, you can figure out how to do it some other way. I don't know. Anyway, so then I fitted as much well, I just kept doing it. You literally just, you know, make a ton of those. Well, you could only make, mine, you could only make six because that's all that can fit. And then, um, this is what it comes on. I bought this waterproof screen and that's from eBay. Um, well, anyways, so I put one sheet in the printer. I have a Canon... I don't know. I don't know if it's inkjet. I don't know how to tell. But anyways, so then you go to the print button and then you select your printer and you push print. And it'll print out. And then I literally hand cut the circle. You could probably do, I don't know, print and cut or the registration marks, but I'm not sure how it was cut through because it feels kind of thick. Sorry for my messy desk, but it feels kind of thick. 
And so I literally, let me see if I can post this. Hold on. Let's see if this works. So I hand cut the whole thing. It's a circle. I mean, you'll be able to tell. I literally rolled it up. Inserted the, oops, I let it go too soon, but it's fine. And then I found, there's like little lines. I just kind of lined it up with that. Um, pretty much like that. Or I have tweezers that I got from Wish. Love these things. And I literally just, you know, fix it. Insert this back. I hate these things. I really do. I'm scared they're going to scratch me. And ta-da! And you can put a feather in there. I have feathers. You can put it in the background. Uh, you can put fake snow. I've done that too. Um... I've tried hanging it to take a picture. I'm not sure how to get a good quality picture, but anyways, there it is. And then, um, also, I think that's it. I was going to say something else, but I don't remember. Um, yeah, so just keep messing with it, um, till you figure it out. This is the practice. I cut like five of these until I found the perfect fit. Literally kept trying. literally oh well i guess i rolled it too hard um if you want i mean doesn't say it doesn't say the size of the ornaments it just says plastic so i guess really you just want to mess around with it until you get the perfect one and insert it but pretty much that is it um i can send this file or upload it um but really kind of just depends on what your ornament size is and always make sure that um your picture is sent sent to the back because if it's not um i don't think it crops it correctly but, um, here, I can do it again. So you literally center it how you think you want it. I'm going to try to get as much as I can in this picture. Um, highlight both. Go to modify and push crop. And it literally is that. And that's why I make extra ones because now I don't have a circle. And I'm going to use this one since this one already, you know, has been printed. And I'm going to make an extra one because this is why I put a million everywhere. I usually make like 10 copies are all around. And I'm just going to keep doing that. Oops. Well, this one's going to be harder than I thought because it doesn't have the circle. But anyways, so you kind of... This one's harder because it doesn't have, just make extra copies is all I know because it's easier. Oh, that one worked. So, ta-da, hope that helps.